Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is DX89. Um, this is a Sunday night, about 8.13 at night here on Eastern Standard Time. I'm having a few beers. I'm feeling pretty good right now. Um, I drank half a jar of Shine, and then I've been like, I drank an Avatinus. I don't know if y'all know what that is. And then uh, I had some of these uh, Margaritaville spike teas in my in my fridge, so I'm finishing them up. You know, it feels pretty good. Let me uh, day I went and bought me something new. Uh, some Copenhagen wintergreen. You know, as a lot of you know, I'm not a big wintergreen fan. But a couple weeks ago. About a month ago now, actually, I found a bag of um Copenhagen beech nut wintergreen. I loved it. I mean, hands down, loved it. Thought it was the best shit ever. Absolutely, just you know, loved it. So I started craving wintergreen shit. My hat crooked, fuck me. My hat's all fucked up. Um, I started craving wintergreen, so then I uh, I found I went and bought a can of uh, oh, what was that shit? Fucking some I don't even know what it was anymore. Some type of wintergreen. It was nasty. I think it was like. Kodiak wintergreen or some shit like that. It was a cheap ass can of wintergreen. I figured it wouldn't. It was just nasty. It was not good at all. Dry. I should have done a review on that, but I didn't. Um, Then I went and bought a can of Grizzly. Grizzly wintergreen's like supposedly like legendary wintergreen. Well, fuck it. It wasn't that good. It, it, I mean, it, was, it had a strong ass flavor. And it, you know, it did its. Oh. It did what needed to be done. But I wanted to try some upper class stuff. I hear this stuff is real good. So. It is Copenhagen Wintergreen Long Cut. Has not been open. So. Got my little knife. Use a knife. Cut away from yourself. Always cut away from yourself. That way if something happens, you ain't got knife coming at you. Close my knife. Knife closed. It's got a nice smell just off of popping the seal. I can smell it. Go get my mud jug here. I've probably been sitting there a while. <laughs> Alright. Okay, y'all seen me open it. But right off the bat, it's got a big gap right there. Ain't too, too, too happy with that. Alright. Let's go ahead and put this in. That's a pretty good pinch right there, so. Pinchability. Pretty good. I'll give it a... My scales are 1 through 5, so. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Billy, I'll give it a, I'll give it a five. 
I was able to get a nice pinch. It's a nice one. It's comfortable. It's not too overpowering. And it's not too much. And not too little. It's a perfect size pinch. Okay. Moisture. Moisture's just right. Ain't too over moist. I'm going to give it a five. So, you know, when it comes to moisture, it's pretty damn good. Um, let's see. Flavor. One, I probably could be a bit drunk. Flavor, you know, don't really know. <laughs> I didn't. So yeah, flavor. I mean, I can taste the wintergreen. It's pretty damn good. Give me just a second, y'all. I just remembered I had more beer. This is a Mr. Big Kid. Um, the flavor's good. I give the flavor a three out of five. You know, it's not. I'm putting it in the middle because it's not too hot, not too strong, but it's not too uh, weak. I mean. I say I'd say Grizzly's stronger. Um let's see that's a pinch ability. A can. Uh the only thing I don't like about the can is plastic. I prefer the old cardboard cans. That's just me, I think it tastes better. But, you know, the can looks nice. Very nicely done, nice gold look. You know, very, uh, very, very nice looking. Um, so, I'm going to give it an overall four. Um, yeah, I'm going to give it a four. Uh, it's not the best. That I've seen, but I do like it for a canned dip tobacco product. Can it's pretty damn good, yeah. So I can't see what I'm spitting. All right, um, off subject, off the dip, um, got some homemade home brewed Mr. Beer. My brother, he uh, got a Mr. Beer kit for, uh, I think it was Christmas or something like that. Might have been a birthday. I don't know. Well, he made his beer. This is the uh, IPA. Uh, woo! What the hell is that? Oh, carbonation like a damn thing. Go pour it in here. It's very, uh, very light colored beer. As you can see, it's light colored. Um, I'll tell you one thing, it's pretty good though. Um, I got a little bit left in here. This is, this little bottle, this bottle has filled up two glasses and that much left, as you can see. So, um, if you ever, if you guys like beer, to all you guys that are 21 and up, um, go buy Mr. Bear Kid. It's pretty cool. Process takes about, process is, the beginning process when it's in the big jug, about 7 to 14 days. And then you put it in the bottles and you add something else to it. I don't know what you add to it. And it's another 7 to 14 days. Let that shit sit, man. Let that shit sit long. It's kind of like a shine. You know, you gotta let it sit for a while. Um, 
it's good. I like it. Good beer. Good beer. I'm a little bit tipsy right now. So. I'm buzzing off my ass right now. But I gotta get ready and get off here. Um. Bro, any guy, anybody that likes wintergreen, that's a big wintergreen people, go pick this up. I am recommending this. If you like wintergreen, this is your shit. This is your shit right here. Uh, I'm actually going to carry this with me tomorrow to work, so I probably won't have a can left tomorrow. I have to go pick up another can. But uh, as y'all seen, I've, I'm not a big wintergreen fan but since i found that beach nut wintergreen it's shit good um i need to find that shit again beach nut wintergreen again i like wintergreen now um i didn't really care for wintergreen before but this is this is good this and um beach nut wintergreen for chew is real good um you know the little little mints uh little mints they got Kind of got that wintergreen mint flavor, the little white ones come in little packages. That's kind of like what the beast nut tastes like, and that's kind of like what this tastes like. I like it. It's got it's real sweet, but not overpowering sweet. So, if you want some good wintergreen, go pick this up. Let me turn the can. Yeah, go pick this up. This is pretty good shit. You know, good stuff. So, um, I'm going to jump off here. Y'all have a good night. Um, I'll see y'all in a couple days. Uh, like I, I said before, I'm, I'm doing a video about once a week at least. Trying to anyway. Um, I'll probably do another on location video. I probably, I didn't do an on location video. I'll probably do an on location video at my job site. I wish I could have done one Saturday, but I didn't bring my camera. I was literally right next to the White House. Like the building I was at, we're on, we're on the outside elevator. It's a crane that we built. Well, we didn't build, but the they built for the outside elevator to go up the floors to carry a lot of shit in. It was, uh, you, you look out, out the little window on the elevator thing, and you could see the White House, the back of the White House. It was cool as shit. I mean, I'm 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 from the country. I ain't never seen the White House before. But working up in DC, I gotta see the White House. That was pretty damn cool. Yeah. One of the guys that he works there all the time, he said he was telling me a story about a about a guy went up on the roof when he wasn't supposed to. As soon as he stepped out the out the elevator door onto the roof, he had a red dot on his chest. And just stopped when he seen the red. So he said that he said uh, they, he said that the guy had Secret Service come over there because uh, he was on the roof. He didn't want to because you're not supposed to be on the roof above the White House or something. But I don't know damn shit. But it'd be all right. I'm gonna jump off here, guys. I'm tired. I got to be up at 3 o'clock in the morning. So, I'll see y'all later. Y'all keep dipping. I'll keep making videos. Oh, yeah. I'm wearing my Keep Your Freaking Hillbilly t-shirt. I got two of them. Two of them now. Oh, shit. What the hell was that? I had uh, still got it. It's still in the package. Still never been opened. Let's go ahead and uh, open this, actually. See what I got. This entire package cost me 25 bucks. Let's see what I got. Let's a little bit. All right, all right, it's open now. thought I was going to be disappointed. I got two more Keep It Freaking Hillbilly 
uh, stickers. Uh, one is on my lunchbox from my last package. And I got one on my fridge that's over here. Let's see if I can. Oh, shit, not enough beer bottles. Uh, right there. You see it? Yeah, that right there. Keep it freaking heavy right there on my fridge. Uh, I'll probably keep at least one, not actually use it, hanging up on my mirror. So I'll put this one on something. Yeah, here's my shirt. It is uh, signed on the back. Oh, uh, yeah, let me go and fold this back up, put it back in here. Outlaw, if you watch this video, man. I love the shirts. Um, if you do watch this video, Outlaw, can you make some smaller stickers? A little bit smaller, maybe like some kind of like ovalish, roundish ones. Because I tried putting it on my hard hat, but it wouldn't fit properly on my hard hat. It kept bending and shit. So, uh, if you watch this video, Outlaw, Make some smaller ones. Get some smaller ones made. They're kind of like roundish or something. You know, roundish. So I can stick on the side of my hard hat so I can wear it all the time. I couldn't do it with these stickers. These, they're just too big. Um, but I put it on my lunchbox. So, you know. I'm advertising. <laughs> um, yeah, there's my unpackaging of... Uh, my outlaw stuff. My second outlaw stuff anymore. Um, Alright, I'm going to jump off here. I'm at 17 minutes now. So, I'll see y'all later. Y'all have a good night. See you.